Lesson 1A, Biochemistry, the Chemistry of Life. Reviewing some material from the years before, you'll remember that matter is all things that have properties of mass and volume, such as water, rocks, and other things that you may not see but still have mass and volume, like dust. Examples of things that are not classified as matter include the imaginary alicorn, thoughts, dreams, and energy. An element is matter that is composed of a single type of atom. On Earth, we have discovered over a hundred elements, and we've organized them into something called the periodic table of elements. Of these more than 100 elements on Earth, we see that Earth itself is primarily composed of just a handful of elements. For example, Earth's crust is primarily oxygen, silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium, with the other 100 elements making up only 2% of the Earth's crust. The human body is composed of even fewer elements, mainly oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and other trace elements. The smallest component of an element that still retains the qualities of that element is called an atom. Atoms in turn are composed of smaller particles themselves called subatomic particles. Here we have two different models of the helium atom. From junior science, we know that the protons have an electric charge of plus one with a mass of one and are located in the nucleus, while neutrons have no electric charge but do have a mass of one and are also located in the nucleus. Electrons have an electric charge of minus one and have nearly no mass at all and travel at high speeds around the nucleus in electron orbitals or electron shells. These drawings of helium have two protons and two neutrons, which gives it a mass number of 4 AMU. If it's neutral, which it should be since it's a noble gas, then it will have two electrons as well. Isotopes are atoms of the same element, but who vary in mass due to their numbers of neutrons in the nucleus. In this example, we have three isotopes of hydrogen. Since the number of protons in the nucleus identifies the element, these three must have one proton each. They are all neutral, so they each have a negatively charged electron to balance out the positively charged proton. The only difference between these three are the number of neutrons. Wasserstoff on the left has no neutrons, deuterium in the middle has one neutron, and tritium on the right has two neutrons. This makes their mass numbers 1, 2, and 3, respectively. Ions are elements that have become charged due to a loss of electrons. Those fast-moving electrons on the outer orbital of an atom may be lost or may be acquired depending on the type of element that's involved. In this example, we have three red protons, which makes it lithium. It also has four neutrons, which makes its mass number seven. The three electrons cancel out the charge of the three protons, so this is a neutral atom of lithium. This next atom has lost an electron. It is still lithium due to its three red protons. Its mass remains seven because of the four neutrons. But only two electrons with three protons means that there is a surplus of one proton. This is lithium ion with a charge of plus one. This metal ion of lithium has freely lost an electron and this results in a complete outer electron shell, also known as its valence shell. This completing of the valence shell makes the atom more stable, but the properties of the lithium ion will now be different than the properties of the neutral lithium atom.